If you're a completionist like me and you want to try and get every suit and every upgrade in Spider-Man 2, well, you're going to need a hell of a lot of tech parts as well as stuff like rare tech parts, hero tokens, and even the occasional city token as well. Now, although you can just simply play the game normally and come across these over time, there are definitely some faster alternatives to getting these by focusing on certain missions. And so today we're going to be going over the best ways to farm upgrade materials in Spider-Man 2. Now, the first one on my list here is probably, well, not probably, it's definitely the easiest on the list. And this is the spider bots. Now, to get these, you want to simply traverse across the city and every and then you'll come across these massive growing orbs that are sort of pulsating throughout the city. Now, they are impossible to miss and each district has three of them. All you have to do is get close to them and press triangle. You will collect the spider bot and you will also collect the easiest 100 tech parts of your career. Now, next on the list is the Hunter Blinds missions that you can get around the city. These are pretty much as easy as any regular crime mission. However, in return, you get 1000 XP, five rare tech parts, and a whopping 150 regular tech parts too. These are very easy to find on the map. You can see them with these double red sword icons, and there are heaps up in the top left corner. They are, you know, scattered throughout the rest of the map as well, but there seems to be a lot up in the top left corner, and I cannot recommend them anymore. Like I said, they're pretty easy. They're realistically pretty similar to the rest of the crime missions where there's just a bunch of goons and you just have to pretty much take them out and like I said the rewards for these are absolutely insane so definitely check these out they are probably the easiest way to get those rare tech parts now before we go any further if you guys are enjoying the video and you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button we are well on the way to 1k subscribers and it would mean a hell of a lot of you guys can help us get to that big 1k so like I said if you are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button but with that being said let's get stuck into the next one on the list now, this one is the Emily May Foundation or the EMF experiments, and these can be found by these green circular sort of leaf symbols on the map. Now, these ones are genuinely easy. They are pretty much just little puzzles, and when I say puzzles, I say that very, very loosely. They're all very, very simple. They will essentially just ask you to do a couple of different tasks, and as far as I can tell anyway, none of them involve any combat. They are pretty much just little sort of scientific experiments that, like I said, involve a puzzle, and most of them are very, very simple. Now, when you complete these, they will give you 700 XP, three rare tech parts, and 140 regular tech parts as well. So they are very, very solid when it comes to giving you a proper reward. Now, all three of those have mostly focused on the tech parts as well as the rare tech parts, but something else that is very valuable in this game are the hero tokens. And there are multiple really solid ways to get these as well. Now, firstly, probably the easiest way that you'll get just through playing the game is getting through the third tier of the district progress in any district. And when you do that, you will be rewarded with two hero tokens. Now, for those who don't know, this can be pretty much done by doing literally anything in those districts. All the stuff I've mentioned in this video, for example, will count towards those in those districts that you're in. And then even just like fighting the random crime events that pop up, doing the photo opportunities and stuff like that. All of that goes towards the tier progress as well. And like I said, once you get through the third tier, it will reward you with two of those hero tokens. Now, one way of getting hero tokens that can be kind of a bit more hit and miss depending on your skill level is the Mysteriums that are spread throughout the city. Now, these are actually timed challenges where Mysterio pretty much puts you into one of these illusions and you've just got to do whatever those challenges are. Most of them are pretty simple. A lot of them are just literally like beat 20 enemies. Some of them are a bit more difficult in terms of like you use six finishes, for example, which in itself isn't hard. It's just that it takes time to charge up your focus bars. But even though they are pretty easy because they are timed they come with different tiered rewards being gold silver and bronze if you are fast enough to get the mission done in the gold bracket you will get four hero tokens which is actually quite a lot because these are a bit more rare than most of the other tokens in the game whereas if you get silver you only get two or bronze you only get one regardless they are definitely still worth doing and there's actually a hidden reward at the end of these challenges too which i will be covering in a future video it is probably one of the coolest unlockables in the game so be sure to check that one out on the channel when it does drop. Now, another really great way to get hero tokens, and this is mostly towards the end of the game with those last few suits and upgrades, is something that only unlocks after around mission 24 or 25. And just for the sake of spoilers here, I will say, if you're not up to the section where all I'll say is the symbiote stuff starts to pretty much ramp up and you guys do want to avoid spoilers, then I will leave some timestamps down below. So be sure to pretty much just skip ahead to the next part. This isn't necessarily actual story spoilers. It is just talking about a part of the game where I guess some people could see this as a spoiler. 
boiler. So there is your warning, but for those who don't mind, let's get stuck into it. Now, these are the symbiote nests that can be found around New York, and these are gonna give you hero tokens very, very quickly. Now, I will be honest, they can be a little bit tougher depending on the difficulty that you're playing on. These are essentially timed missions where you have to pretty much protect the explosive for around two minutes in most cases. And although it's generally not too hard to where you're gonna die, sometimes they can actually destroy those explosives that you put down. So like I said, not necessarily hard, it's just probably harder than the rest of the stuff in this video, but they do give you four tokens for every one that you take out. And towards the end of the game, there are plenty of these around. So I do recommend grinding these out if you are in need of some of those late game suits, because a lot of them do actually require hero tokens once you get further on into the game. Now, lastly, and there are only two of these that will unlock about halfway through the story, so there's not all that many of these to go through, but these are the Cultural Museum Challenges, which are both really straightforward. They're just a bit of a side story with Miles and his mum. And for completing these ones, you get a whopping 1200 XP, six hero tokens for the first one, and freaking 10 of them for the second one. And then you also get 200 tech parts for each one as well. The missions in themselves are also very fun. It is its own little side story, so it's something worth doing regardless if you get a reward or not. But because of how much stuff you actually get, I could not recommend these anymore. And just like the previous one, you do also get another hidden reward at the end of this one too. So like I said, definitely do these. They will pop up around mission 16 or 17 throughout the main storyline. And it is essentially impossible to miss if you are at that point in the story. But anyway, guys, those are some of the best ways to farm materials in Spider-Man 2. If you guys have any of your own recommendations, be sure to leave them down below in the comments as well. And keep your eyes peeled on the channel because there is plenty more Spider-Man 2 content on the way. If you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button because on top of the Spider-Man content, we are going to be doing a setup tour at 1K subscribers. So make sure you don't miss out on that. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.